Okay, kitties, it's good. We're back. It's time for... I'm not letting her catch me on this whole, like, she's going to record me cool. talking for 20 minutes about some shit. Like, no, we're going to cut it out right now. We're going to cut the background audience noise out. we going to cut everything out. we just going to start the episode because I know how much she hates a real intro. For I'm just, God like, really knows. awkward with the intros. I never know what to do. You say, what up, though? Like, what up, though? We're back. Quarantines in Quarantines. the cut. <laughs> we're here we're living our best lives okay the first thing we need to discuss though just like literally right off the bat is the fact that after i came in here and talked shit on the red flags episode you rearranged all your furniture and ordered art for your walls mm. here for it this is not a chirp this is on a pl- round of applause for lume and joe i'm very happy with the new development i don't accept any <laughs> i don't accept any compliments that i'm getting because why we're a- a, we're not done. Okay, we're not done. I mean, we're fine, but like it's in the work. B, I don't like the fact <laughs> that you are <laughs> putting on wax to <laughs> the people that the credit should go to you. No, no, I'm actually not trying to take credit, but I see what you're saying. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so that's all I have to say about that. But yes, you know, we've been here for a while. Yeah. And you know, We've had a good vibe in our living room arrangement, <laughs> and we've not had any issues with it. But, you know, with quarantine, yeah, we've decided that, you know, we can make some adjustments. So we, we had a nice little powwow, a nice little <laughs> meeting of the minds, <laughs> and we came to an agreement on something that could work. And, you know, all of the studio audience, and yourself included, has now seen some of the fruits of our labor yeah, and think you good. think it's uh I think it works. I think it's good. And Joe was like, Oh yeah, we knew <laughs> we knew we couldn't mess up your angles for the video for the quarantine. So I was like, Yeah, that's a fact. But to be fair to you, when I came in here and was talking shit about art on the walls, you've had stuff on the walls the whole time. I mean not like a tons of things, but like not nothing either. I mean we have it two was not a fully subtweet. blank walls. I mean and you were literally <laughs> saying if you come into a nigga's place and he ain't got shit on the wall, that's a no no. And you were looking at my blank walls. I and mean, I, like, I don't know. If the shoe know, fits, like, I guess. I didn't mean like, for it to be that way, like, but literally she was like, There's one painting in front of her and she chose all the other walls to look at. I chose violence. To I chose violence. Fire her. I chose violence. So what can I say? Disrespect. You told me that over the weekend you took a poll from other women that you were with and they were oh, agreeing. Oh, about the pillows. <laughs> about the pillow. Whatever. Not about the, the painting. It starts line. with the pillows. It nah, leads to wall art. Nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyway, get, get in the comments about the pillows because I still need to hear more about it. I like I'm. It sounds like a lot of y'all women are agreeing with Kristen, which bugs me. But thank you. I, just, I need more. Like Rod was there when I was bringing it up the other yeah. day, but like I just don't like all you people agreeing about like four pillows. Why, why do I need four pillows? Why are you Chime in. One person. Tweet us at me on Instagram, King Kristen Renee, mm-hmm. Illuminator GV. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Shout out! Anyways, yeah, we have another. Uh, basically, what happened is after that topic, I was like, "Hmm, like what other like very like deep cut controversial kind of oh, shit?" Oh, you don't want to take I... people behind the curtain. <laughs> what? What were you? What do you think I'm hiding? I I'm mean, hiding. you're hiding the fact that like these topics have been on oh, the yeah. list. They have for months. No, but to be fair, I told you that this one needed to be after I moved into my new place, and that was true. And I didn't understand that reason. But and here and now here we are doing the topic. I will mm-hmm. explain the reasoning. Go ahead. Okay, so the reason we Break had to down. save this topic is because now that I'm in my place, I have more privacy and more shall we say alone time. And so it's <laughs> exactly. And so it's very now kind of like a coming full circle point. Like we did the go- we did the going back to the bars episode. Mm-hmm. Now we're doing the like return to like your new year's res- re- uh, return to Bravo. your new year's resolutions and reevaluate your commitment to the uh, sexual liberation policies that have been put in place. Again, we're returning to <laughs> one New Year's resolution. Well, that's where I was going to start. So the topic is positive narcissism. 
That's, I guess, what we're calling it. We That's couldn't come up with a better it. name, and I'm fine with it. That's what we're calling it. And this topic was born out of the idea that um, there are real narcissists in this world who treat other people like shit and only care about themselves. But then there's the society capitalist convoluted version of what they would have you narcissism. They would have you believe that narcissism is, which is basically like hate yourself, buy this product to make you happier. It doesn't work blah 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 so like if men like don't take care of themselves they're gay and if women like love themselves too much they're vain and nobody can fucking win and that's not the true version of narcissism so we're rebranding it and we're making it a positive thing and talking about the positive attributes of narcissism (laughs) so to make it a longer (laughs) definition shorter yeah we're taking, you know, this definition of an evil thing. Right. By Chris, society Kristen and capitalism. Has twisted it <laughs> and we're turning it into a good thing. Yeah. And you here for it. And don't worry, there'll be jokes. Yes. So, yeah. So that's, that's where we're what at. We're doing. And it had to wait until I was in the new house because a part of this is masturbation. And we, that's why we're circling back to the New Year's resolutions. Because I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I was fucking lacking and not prioritizing it because I was fucking busy with my job and moving and finding a roommate and blah, 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 blah. I feel like your job is the, the thing you should have put at the end. Well, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Okay. We don't need to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> and so now that I'm in the new place, I've recommitted myself to a regular masturbation schedule. And I'm telling you, I feel so much better. I feel lighter, more joyful, more just, just, just fully realized in my your feet. Yeah. You're ready for shot girl summer. 110%. And You're so that's where that's where we need to begin, which is that if you don't have a regular masturbation schedule, mostly women I'm speaking to you because men masturbate they don't fucking think anything of it. But a lot of women, it's still so taboo that a good percentage of women don't do it at all. I know we talked about this in the porn episode, but I'm mm. come bringing it home again because I think it's fans. so important. Jeez. Please start that shit up. Please. I'm begging you. I christened my place. I was like so happy. I lit the candles, fucking blocked out some time. Like, ooh, it was good. So. <laughs> I literally will just say this because we put it on wax. For the people. Yes. When this topic, which again, I've already pointed out, was on the list (laughs) for a while ago. Yeah. I did not (laughs) believe that this topic was going to somehow lead to (laughs) masturbation. I know. I know. And she gave a very heartwarming explanation on why it needed to go that way. Yes. Yes. And I was like, wow, I genuinely didn't think that. But that's because I have this man robot attitude where I was just like, I seen one word. I focused on the word. I did the thing. It didn't make no sense to me. I totally. I, appre- I, I appreciate yeah. that you came out wax and said the thing. Yeah. I don't disagree. You know, we're coming in this shot girl, hot girl summer, you know, do the thing. Everybody should be on their regular schedule to take care of themselves. Right. Especially when, you know. You don't have access to uh, the single people. It's all the more important, but also for the couples, honestly, to be honest. Yeah, no, you guys got to do what you got to. Yeah, you got to take care of yourself. Self-care. It is the most. I mean, that's the more that's the more materialistic, like trendy way to describe positive narcissism is self-care. It's just like I don't like the term self-care because I feel like it's been like commodified so much to basically mean spend a lot of money and that I don't feel is what it is. And also it really Mm. bothers me that there's no public discourse on the fact that like literally like sexual well-being and horniness literally should 100% be a part of self care. She's cooking. Because we all go through this (laughs) and it bothers me that there's no discussion about this, especially for women. I mean, not none, like obviously other people. I'm not, I'm not a revolutionary here, but like not in the mainstream media. I just, I think it's important to like recognize that this should be part of the conversation. So we should get to be mainstream media and then we can be the part. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Quarantines hundred (laughs) percent. Sponsor us. Hey, what's up? Send me vibrators in the mail. And no shade to the men. Like, I'm not saying it's bad that men masturbate and, like, literally don't think anything of it. If anything, I'm saying that's what we should all do. Now, of course, there's, like, too much of a good thing, of course. But, you know, we're talking about, like, the the healthy middle ground here, so. Okay, so. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? Actually, we'll we'll go more behind the curtain. So, like, 
I remember this whole topic episode being birthed. Oh yes, well, by yeah, the fact yeah. That I came <laughs> over to your crib one time. Oh yeah, and okay, yeah. This is actually where it first started. You like was giving me a tour of the crib. Yeah, and you showed me my room, a painting in my room, in your room. Yeah, and this painting was of you. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like a wall size painting of me and hanging in my I room was like, on the wall. And me alone. By I myself. love me. <laughs> I, I'm like I'm like Terrell Owens. I love me some me. Yeah. Right? Like, don't get me wrong. But I never. I I don't need a painting of you me. You would never have a painting of in yourself. A crib. Huge, like well, literally not like in my room. Five by five feet tall <laughs> painting. I'm like I'm like even my even my dad has a little like <laughs> caricature archer like drawing of yeah. him but it's not in the bedroom so okay i mean okay many things to say about this this is this ahead. is what happened and you were shook i, I was so very i mean shook. the first thing that i do have to point out is that like i did not go out and commission this this painting correct my correct. mom painted this painting of me when i was when i was a girl which makes it all the right better right like so I love, I mean, my mom has painted three three portraits of me. She's a fine oil painter. You can see, everybody can go on my Instagram and see this painting. It's literally in the background of most of my selfies in my, in my old room. So you can clearly see me in the background hanging on the wall. Now, regardless of that fact, regardless of the fact that that's the reason I have this painting, I still love this painting and I willingly hung it on the wall of my room because I love the concept of having a huge painting of me on my wall. Like, I just, I think that's amazing, and everybody should do it, 100%. <laughs> you, you thought it was weird. This studio audience thinks it's weird. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's I It's mean, not I that it. I thought it was weird once I found out where the painting where it came, came from. from. Yeah. But my thing is, it's like, okay, here's the thing. All right. Again, and I think you've said this before, like, even on the pod. Yeah. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not a cocky son of a bitch and I don't <laughs> love myself, okay? Like, God damn, Lou May is the best of the best of the best. Uh, go ahead, knock it down, right? Yeah. But at the same time, as much as I love myself and as much as I may or may not have a fucking <laughs> custom Nike soccer jersey with the luminator on the back, doesn't mean that I'm going to have a fucking painting <laughs> Or a picture or a poster of myself anywhere okay. that people can see. So I I think there's a lot of people that would agree with you. I think I'm in the the minority opinion on this, but I would I I have I have you know arguments as to why we should challenge this in our minds that like it's weird to have pictures and paintings of stuff of you and only you in your house. So first of all, like my first question to you is. What would you if you had if you had to choose forget the painting but like a photograph right what photograph would you hang on your wall if I had to pick a picture of myself no just of any not just of you like what what kinds of what kinds of photographs would you hang on your wall I mean oh I guess I've never actually showed you my room because then this question would be irrelevant but like I don't know I would just put pictures of shit that I enjoy so like family friends uh, no I don't have any oh actually there might be a little family thing in there but okay like, i got like i got kg i got a dope kg oh picture okay that I okay get signed at some point so people you in admire there, i got like a couple video game posters up there okay um obviously like mj i used to have the 3d poster for the vikes mm -hmm. like i just put shit that i enjoy like that's what i would put up there like right and yes, I enjoy myself, but not enough that I can <laughs> see myself. Like, I know, but like, I don't know. I feel like it's a it's a radical act to like. Oh no, I don't think it's a bad thing. <laughs> see, that's the thing. I, and I guess maybe I'm coming off incorrectly in the way that I don't think it's a bad thing that people yeah. do this. Yeah, it's just that well, I don't I guess know. If I'm trying I don't to get know if deeper. people do this. <laughs> it might just be me. I have no, no idea. <laughs> you are not. I promise you, you're well, that's not reassuring. alone. I think everyone should. I promise you, you're not alone. The same way I promise you that you was out there with them fucking rich sugar daddies. <laughs> yeah, I promise you, you that people had them same little pictures of them. But like, I guess my thing is that I, I guess I've never felt the need to put the effort and more importantly the money into creating right. something 
for me, about me, to hang up for me. Right. Now, I know your situation is technically different because it was your mom that made it. Yeah, but, but yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. That's kind of where I was like, dang, like, there's people that commission someone to come in. Right. So, I mean, I, I get what you're saying in the sense of, like, there are people who genuinely would not hang, um, like, photography of themselves or their friends and family on the walls. They go for other things, like you said, art or posters or whatever, whatever stuff they, they like. And that's fine. Yeah. But for those that would question a huge, like, me hanging a picture of myself on my wall but would not question a family picture hanging on the wall... I'm here to tell you there is no fucking difference. It's the same shit. You hang stuff, you hang photographs of your fa- friends and family and like real life events and picture like outings on the wall for either the memories or the way that the picture looks. That absolutely equates to a solo dolo pic of yourself. So, all right, I'm not going to disagree. I need like literally a three second answer or less. If you are walking into <laughs> a girl you hollering at's room and she has a huge ass picture of her hanging on the wall. Yeah, what? Weird, yes or no? Yeah. Red flag. Okay, red flag. Is that weird? Yes or no? Okay, one weird, no. Yes or no? Hey, that's the best answer. The All three. Right. Let me see the All pic. Right. <laughs> All right, then. So we got one no, one red flag, and one All let me I see the pic. We got a lot of freak leaks in the studio. Yeah, that's audience. amazing. Like, that's I feel like really that's a good smorgasbord. I mean, no. I. I Fair enough to Joe. Joe's the one who said that it's a red flag. Like, honestly, fair. Like, some people. Like they're not gonna be, they're not gonna like be cool with it. Like, and I'm cool with that. If, you, if that's too much to you, for you, like I get it. But on some level, it's like, you know, like as we get older, mm-hmm. and as a, more and more of my friends and family do pair off and get married and do all these things, yeah, and you. I actively am choosing a different trajectory yeah. and lifestyle for myself. Yeah, like it just becomes more and more apparent the ways that like. How like I just think about a lot like how can I serve myself in the ways that like these other people are being you know re- receiving love from their partner how can I give that to myself and one of those ways is just like by having art of myself on the wall uh, but anyway. I think okay so let's translate it down to like a uh something r- like. That is similar but more relatable to the masses because plenty of people aren't thinking about should they buy. A okay, all right, yeah. So okay, that's perfect. Okay, so let's go to the thing that I know we've already talked about off wax. Yeah, we talk about on wax. Yeah. When you see somebody, <laughs> and I know we talked about recently about the phones thing. Your phone background. Right. It's you, you alone, shining. Yeah. Weird, not weird. You're asking me. Yeah, 100%. I'm not talking well, no. I mean, no, that's not weird to me at all. So my phone, the lock screen is me. Okay. <laughs> and the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Uh-huh. It's like an artsy black and white pic. And then oh, the, so you edit it. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I, well, I edit every picture. Yeah, so that's yeah, a fucking know, given, but know. whatever. Shout out. The home screen is literally like an almost nude of me. <laughs> it's literally me and like, extremely skimpy lingerie so yeah 100 percent into it extremely skimpy you hear that guy you wouldn't be able to so so it's a it's a um no i believe you i'm not yeah but you wouldn't be able to tell like because i i don't really like uh, keep my phone like that under wraps like i i like what would let you or anybody be like oh here use my phone it's fine don't worry, never use their phone. Never seen this picture. But most people don't even notice because it's it's tiled so it's like it's like nine and they're all different pictures. It's literally a screenshot of my camera roll of when I was taking these pictures and this lingerie. And so it's like a tiled thing and all the pictures are a little bit different, but most people don't even notice that it is that is what it is because because of the tiling. But yeah, so but to answer your question <laughs> simply, yes, both my lock screen and my home screen are me and me alone. So like I'm not gonna pretend like my lock <laughs> my lock screen, I'm in it, but I'm not alone. Yeah, I got I got peepsles, but uh, and my home screen is not me at all. But I don't know. I just I like I love my friends, but like I I 
I love me. Like I, it's, no, it's I, me. And again, like I hate to quote the great philosopher Tara Owens, but I love me some me too. Like, <laughs> I get it. Like I totally get it. But I just feel like there's certain levels to loving me some me, and it's like yeah, I but think f- I think that putting yourself on the phone is the max. Okay, so but, so, so like, you would be fine with that if yeah. You saw, so if okay. you if you are, if you're the lock screen, the home screen. The screensaver on the phone, you Gucci. Mm-hmm. Now, if we go to your work computer <laughs> and it's just you <laughs> out here spread on Hermosa Beach <laughs> doing a goddamn no. thing like this, I'm like, all right, now you need to chill. So out. my work, so my work computer home screen is a picture of a castle in France. Um, which the name of yeah, which I is know, yeah, Mount Saint, Mount Saint yeah, Michael. Yeah, yeah. So in a way, it is me. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like literally. <laughs> it's not literally a picture. That, that's of me, no. more like it's that's homage. More intricate. I like I like it's that homage. Shit. That's yeah. intricate. That's cool. That's now on my personal laptop. My home screen is uh, Drake. <laughs> Pobre. Okay, okay. But here's my other thing about the about the phone screens and lock screens and stuff. Like I have great pictures with my friends that I love, but on some level I also am like, I find it odd that I like this is something I literally look at every fucking day, every minute of my life. Yep. Like I don't I find I would find it a little bit odd to have a picture of like a fr- me and me and a friend who is in a, like a marriage or like a serious relationship i just find that odd because then like because i know because then people who are in relationships nine times out of ten their 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 screens are their significant other which is fine i think that's fine mm-hmm. but so then you're looking at your man or your woman or whatever it is and i'm looking at you on my phone like that's just odd to me like i'd rather it literally just be me or for a long time it was me and my mom <laughs> And I was fine with that, too, because it was us at, at my movie premiere. So I was like, oh, I want to be reminded of my movie. I, like, that's awesome. I agree with that sentiment in general. I just I, I just I don't, find, I would don't find that weird. It, no, I, I, I don't think of it in the moment, but I agree with that sentiment in general. It That's true. Like, it, it is kind of weird. But it's only if you have that relationship with them. Right. Otherwise, it's just like, yeah, you just got something for the NFL. I mean, I guess if it was, you know, if it was like a big old group pic on like Uh, a a vacation. The worst Tinder biopic ever. Right. If it was like a big old group pic on vacation and so more it's like a memory of the vacation more than the individual people in the picture. But it's sort of about them, but it's more about like the times. Mm. I could see that more. But like for me to just have a picture of me and one other person who's not literally my mom or just me. I find weird because either that other person, like I just look at it too often. Like it's, it's just too much. Well, sorry, Vic, <laughs> I got to delete this photo. Of me and you apparently it's but I mean, much. that's family. So that's like more, I could see that more. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta delete the thing. Another, another like in this vein, before yeah. we move into like a different kind of vein, because I, I have yeah. other things to I say. I know you do have other things to say, but keep in the vein. Yeah, keep in the, the vein, in this vein, uh, this, is the vein, this vein is where I'm good. <laughs> this vein is where I'm good. It's <laughs> also the concept of like giving oneself uh, gifts or spending money on oneself, which I'm very for, very for. Yeah, treat yourself. I'm that. You know, shout out Parks and Recs. That's a very real thing. Yeah, but you are for. It in a level that I'm not sure that I'm here for. I don't know. Okay, so here's the thing. I put on the thing, put on the list, like, is it okay <laughs> to give a gift and the gift is you? Oh, it's so like I, a photo of yourself? And I don't mean the gift is you, like you went and slept with this person. I mean, like, the gift is you, like, literally, like, here, here's a poster, a picture, or whatever of me. And you said that was okay. Yeah, I don't think that's weird at all. I think going to t- I mean, like, like pregnant women get maternity photos, and no one cares. Everyone thinks that's so great. Well, who do they give it to? No, one. themselves. They hang on their. They hang on their wall. Yeah, give it to themselves. I didn't say give it. To, I said give it to somebody. Oh, I didn't realize that's what we were talking no, about. I was saying give the gift oh. of you to somebody. Okay, wait. I don't know. Let me think. Because I don't know if that's what I'm arguing. I'm like, hey, I love me some me. Yeah. But giving me the gift of me to somebody, 
I must be so confident in no. my smell. Y- yeah. Like, well, okay. So, so agreed. I thought we were talking about yourself. But so the one obvious exception to this is like giving it to like Bay. Yes. I mean, Bay deserves everything. That, that part is perfectly right. Fine. But like a photo of you. Especially because, like, you know how people be doing those, like, sexy photo shoots or whatever. Or women do. Are we going to talk about the sexy photo shoot? Yeah, why not? I think you have questions about the sexy photo shoot. I, don't, I didn't find it that controversial. I have a million questions. <laughs> Lay it on me. I don't know. Sure, go ahead. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, bu- all right. the boudoir. boudoir so, that, the, the, the studio audience, like, I'm sure you guys are seeing, you know, the, the boudoir photos, yeah. which is like, you know, the girls, they get like the Hulk Hogan. It's literally a lingerie pic. Like shit. And they put the lingerie on. Yeah. And you know who Hulk Hogan is. I'm not going to talk to you. Yeah. And they put, they put, they put their little, they put the lingerie on and they're just like out here laying, yeah. doing these little nice little photos you know, with the. You know, whatever. I don't really care who's taking the photos. But the point is, <laughs> like, they're out here like, oh, I'm just taking this photo because I want to feel sexy. I want to do the thing. But they're not out here trying to start an OnlyFans or whatever. They just want to take some photos because they wanted to, you know, up their up their vibes. Yeah, which I'm all the way here right. for everyone up in their vibes. Good. Productive narcissism. That's where we're at. Yeah, positive narcissism. My problem is when you <laughs> post that shit. On and IG? I see it anywhere. Don't care. Okay. When I see it, the only thing I'm thinking is, damn, girl, let's get it out. We well, don't yeah. give a what, what? We don't give a what? And I'm like, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, it, you look good. And I just am like, yeah. And then I pop the tongue face emojis that you hate. And then they're like, well, I was just <laughs> posting this. To embrace myself and my sexuality. And I'm like, I'm really happy for you. But I'm embracing your sexuality. And I'm yeah. looking at it like, God damn, why can't I be a part of that sexuality? Like, what's the problem? So, I mean, this goes back to, to what we were talking about with, like, the DMs and the thirst traps and stuff. But, like, to be to be clear, I don't have a problem with a tongue emoji DM. I have a problem with a tongue emoji DM every fucking week with no other communication whatsoever. If I post, if I post like a pic in my bra and you DM me, I would expect that. Like to your point, I'm agreeing with you. Mm. People who say that they're not here to show off when they do this kind of thing, it's not the whole thing, but you're capping 100% if that if you're not consciously making that a part of it it is to look good i mean it is to like which be thirsty great. which is great and fine let me jump in the trap yeah 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 no i mean i don't know i don't <laughs> i i am I'm, I'm actually surprised that that you think that women be getting so mad about this like i would never get mad at that i don't know i'm just speaking from yeah prior yeah. experience yeah no i get it no I'm sure i don't right. know okay and Hulk, so here's the other thing because you put a I'm not going to lie. I thought it was a bullshit statement on the list. Okay, But now we're bringing out all wax for the people. Okay. I said that there is not a male equivalent to the boudoir <laughs> photo shoot. And you said, oh, there is. They just don't do it. I said, what? 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 what, what is it? What are you talking about? It's, it's, yeah. Thank you. It's, uh, that's what I said on the list. I was like, it's the same thing. Who does that? I mean... No. Exactly. You let me I know. I think men do it. I think you some men me do know. this. I think some men do this. I mean, like, no. first of all, like, it's not like women are the only ones posting I'm, underwear pics on IG. So, like, I'm not against it. But hey, Vic, Rod, Joe, when's the last time you just went, took some pictures in your boxes and posted them on IG? I'll wait. And you can sit over there and lie to me. But I'm. So what are we talking about? But but it's that's not the male equivalent. It is though. I don't think you. I I, I don't. See, he he would do it. No no no. no. People are ready to do it. There's a difference between I'm ready to do it and the equivalent. 
I don't, know, oh, I don't agree. I don't agree. I, it should I, it, exist. But it does exist. There are, just because you don't follow underwear underwear where men at? on where Instagram, they they're, uh, they're out there. They Give are. Give me some names. Give me some names. Harry Jowsey. Fucking oh, Michael B. Jordan. She did fucking. Some research. Michael like, B. Jordan. I'm ready with that. Like, I, she I, did. I follow. She I, did some research. I follow okay. dudes online. Look at her. She literally... called Stab Boy tonight. I like this. She called Stab Boy tonight. Okay, all right. All right. You know what? Fair enough. You know what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to get these boudoir photos out. We're going to get these boudoir photos out. Like, there are, especially, first. like, especially, like, um, I mean, again, it's the same. It's so, it's sort of the same thing as, like, who's the, who's the type of bitches posting this stuff on Instagram? Usually, it's, like, very attractive women who are pursuing the ent- entertainment industry in one way or another, mm. right? Or their models or whatever. Yeah. So, like, again, same thing with men. I don't think you, LeMay, are out here following a bunch of male models on Instagram. So I don't think you're seeing it. But that does not mean it doesn't exist. It fucking does. <laughs> I believe you, but... <laughs> I hate like the ba- Like, think of, like, the, all the dudes who have been on The Bachelor. Like, that's the type of guy I'm talking about. Somebody who's already out here. Like you, you, Vic and Joe are not good examples of dudes who are already out here. Like you're ch- you're but living we are your- out here. I mean, you are in the sense of like you're you're cool social guys, but you're not you're not trying to be the bachelor. Like you haven't like. Uh, what do you mean? I'm not trying to be the bachelor. I have you applied to be the bachelor? Because all the I dudes, because all the dudes who have been on the bachelor sat down and applied to be on the bachelor and made a video to be on the bachelor. Oh, you have to so do that's the, you have to do a video. Hundred percent, hundred percent. You have to audition. You have to do the whole oh. thing. Well, see, now I know. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. The more you know, man. I'm telling yeah, shit, you. The more I'm you here know. Like, okay, no. Now I know. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna put my so video. You're gonna apply. Hundred percent. You're gonna apply the bachelor. Hundred percent. Oh, I'll you know help you. I'll help we you. will do it live on the pod. We're gonna record my bachelor. <laughs> when video. we get uh like we, ten thousand downloads. Oh, you want me to get on Temptation Island? Temptation Island, yeah. Oh, te- first of all, I should get on all the shows. Well, but we're going to do... I am being realistic. Hey, it's a new wave now, okay? It's a new wave. We're going to do a whole episode well, on reality yeah, actually, TV dating no, you know shows. What? We'll do We'll do a side episode from the reality thing. Yeah. And it'll be my application <laughs> to all the reality shows. Maybe we'll put it on we'll, Patreon put we'll just, behind a paywall. We'll put... We'll put... We'll put... We'll put we'll, <laughs> Yeah, we'll put we'll put we'll put my application on each show. Real world, yep. challenge, temptation island, too hot to handle, bachelor. love is blind. Yeah, like we we'll do we we'll do the whole do the thing. Whole we'll thing. do the whole thing. Okay, bachelor, perfect. bachelorette, we'll do the whole thing. So there so you go. I mean, that's what I mean. You're welcome, people. That's, I wasn't even gonna give you this, but I guess I'm giving it. To that's people. what I mean when I say the male equivalent is. The equivalent. It's the same thing. It's not. The boudoir doesn't exist. Now, now, exist. I'll, hey. I will hey. give you the fact. Well, but again, you're talking about the, the bitches who are actually posting that shit on IG. There are plenty of women who do who would do a boudoir photo, photo shoot and not post it to social media. They do it literally for themselves Have and for their man. Have you done a boudoir photo shoot? Well, I, I've posted it to IG, so yes. I mean, I, but I do it myself. I don't bother with a photographer. I just take, I just take the pictures myself. <laughs> I literally used this fucking tri- tripod we got here. That's how I literally broke the last tripod we had. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that. <laughs> but I post them on IG. Like, take you. Like, you're not going to post a fucking underwear pic on IG. Correct? I mean, I post swimsuit pics. Sure, IG. but that's not the same vibe as a boudoir photo. I mean, I would wear the same thing. I agreed, but would you, if you were posing and trying to be sexy, would you post it? Hey, if the photographer made it look good, <laughs> I'll do it. Okay, okay. I'll do it. My, I mean, my IG ain't got no, but I, I understand you, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. You're not, you're not incorrect. Right. So that but, type of person, so like the people who are out here on Instagram, like posting this shit and being hot and posting thirst traps, like the w- male and women, sorry, the men and women equivalent is the same it's it is literally the same thing now for the people that are doing it like in the privacy of their own home i don't know that i know a lot of guys that would like go get a boudoir photo shoot like to give that as a gift to their bae i don't so i would agree with you there that that's not quite the same thing that sounds like a love and hip-hop vibe that i'm not i'm not but i don't know if you're fine if you're my man and you're fine and you went out and and hired a photographer to take sexy pics of yourself to give to me as a gift 
Right, that's the, hot, bro. You see the key word you just said there? If what? you're my man. All right, that's fair. So, I think we got like one more yeah, like main. Say, what what what's the other? We Actually, got one more main like line of thinking, and this goes into like oh, a whole thing. You yeah, you go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. so so circling back to the topic, positive narcissism. Here's like another piece of the puzzle. I feel, which is that like you need to, as we said, take care of yourself. And I feel like a lot of men, and this is where I'm like genuinely asking you, like, do men realize that women want a dude who like openly takes care of themselves? Like sometimes Uh, I feel like men have this thing that they're supposed to like hide it or not do it or blah, 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 blah. And I feel like that's silly because women like that shit. Am I crazy? I want you... (laughs) To clarify on the take care of themselves only because yeah, yeah. me and some of the studio audience had a conversation previously about this. and In relation to this topic or just in general off wax? This exact situation. Okay. And we don't understand exactly what we were supposed to be doing. So I want to get as specific as you can. Yeah. So that I can give you the most specific response. Well, okay. So I don't know if there's like a list that it's like every person should do this. I think there's not a list that's like every person should do this. But some examples that I'll give is like I had one guy, single guy friend Mm -hmm. who was trying to level up his dating game, hired a personal style of shopper to go shopping with him and buy him a wardrobe that the, that like he, both he liked and the women would like more than what he was wearing. Okay. So like taking care to like, sh- and sh- so taking fa- care and shopping, trying to step up his fashion game. Right. Or like the skincare, <laughs> like <laughs> man, there's this thing that skincare is only for women and that's 100% incorrect. And I, and I wonder like, cause sometimes I see this and I'm like, cause going back to like the bathroom thing that we were talking about, like with the red flags, like when I'm at these pe- dudes houses, like not, it's not universal, but sometimes I'm just like, okay, you're out here with the two in one shampoo. You ain't, you're got, you've got the basic $2 suave in the shower. Hey, like this shit is not need. on par with what like a woman. I like what I like. I like what I like. I like doing. what I like. So he's got the so he's got the the face oh, wash. No, she's seen that. She hates it. She that would, is not my favorite. She's but that's already told here me there. she would never put it on her face. <laughs> she would. She told me she would never put it on her face. So like, I think literally. so. Okay, so so you guys are saying that like at least men are cleansing their face. They're not. Do, are men still using the, like regular body soap on their face because that's abhorrent and you should quit that immediately if you are listening and you're using body soap on your face. That's you're that's about a like travesty. Bars of soap. Yeah, like a bar of soap. I don't say nothing wrong with that. Well, that's incorrect. Just point just from a clinical factual statement. There's a big problem with using a bar of soap on your face unless it's unless it's literally a bar of soap for your face. That's a different thing. So that's my point is that like women okay, no, want a dude who like is into this. You want us into what? Like Googling beauty shit for them. Like male beauty standards basically is what I'm saying. Like But if I think I look pretty, what do I need to Google? beauty standards i mean on some level you don't but again like when i'm like evaluating like bay material i am thinking like how knowledgeable are they on like care standards if you're using a bar of soap on your face to me you don't know how to take care of yourself that well (laughs) like i mean that's that's my and maybe that's just me, but I don't think it's just me, man. Like, bitches care about this shit. And that's where I'm, like, trying to, like, reach out to the men here and be like, guys, like, level up your beauty routine is basically what I'm saying. Because here's the other thing. Like, I see, I hear a lot of guys all the time to me, like, my friends and stuff, talking about, like, how they wish they had this or that or looked like this or that. Like, like other men that they like look up to or certain celebrities or that, that like that. And they don't, she's s- not talking about me. They don't say it directly in that way, but like the way she's that they talk about it, about you know, me. and That's it's just so like, if you, if I'll answer that in a second, if you think that like the dude that you like 
think is hot, like in men, and don't give me that the men don't know who's what dudes are hot. You know, she's not you talking know, about me, or just somebody that you you admire, like LeBron James. Okay, if you fucking there's nobody you, in this house that admires think, him except for you. If you don't think that LeBron James is out here moisturizing his fucking face, spending money to look good, you're wrong. Like he he is. He One probably time, spends a hundred grand a year. Exactly. So I don't understand why there's sort of like this culture of like it being weird on for men to spend money on beauty things like i find that bizarre and i'm just like why I, honestly i don't think it's weird no i don't either and yet no, i still no, see no, men no, out no, here with no, like no, 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 no i think you're mistaking what i'm saying i don't think it's weird i think it's that it, it's a situation of the haves and the haves nots you do those mo- the, your 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 boys your lebrons your michael b's they out here because they get to the point where they're on that level and they can't lose the level. So they pay for the money. Sure. But, uh, but yeah, I, I get but, that. But us kids down here in the streets, <laughs> us real motherfuckers, <laughs> we out here, we doing what we do. And you know what I'm not going to do? Put my beauty routine on nothing. Not because nobody should know, because nobody should know. Because I'm out here just so you're, doing my thing. So your argument is that they do have it and they just don't want to talk about it. Everyone has a thing. I don't agree. That's where I'm like, I don't think that's true. Because again, like to your point, you just said that if some dude uses a bar of soap on his body and his face, it's fine. That is that is clinically not fine. No, it yeah. It is bad it, for the skin. It, but it's him fine. Yeah, Every, but everybody has a vibe. Agreed, but there are different. There's a difference between like personal preference and like genuinely something is not good for you and you shouldn't do it. I mean that that nigga's not dying. Not di- <laughs> not dying is different than you okay. shouldn't do it. People eat fast food. They, nah, you, but like, that, okay, it's not good that, for them. That, that facial <laughs> shit that you just seen. That you you I I know for a fact you told me to your yeah to but face. that but but nah, the, nah, 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 well, no 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 but that is personal nah. preference like see that's what I'm saying I don't know there is you a difference said I wouldn't put that on my face yeah I wouldn't but I'm actually not judging <laughs> you and Joe for having a fucking uh, that's the, scrub a uh, facial scrub that's like a positive all uh, I'm saying that it's different between like. It's it's not the same thing. It's not it's not the same thing. There's a clinical difference between preference and security and facts. Security. <laughs> security. Get 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 this girl out of here. I can't do. Or like one time, one time my friend told me that he like wished he had like the uh uh like more defined jawline, like whatever some celebrity. I was like, they paid for that. They they paid for that. If you don't think ma- male celebrities are out here paying for chiseled jawlines, lines, they 100% are. Chris Brown, like whoever, like they're paying for this. It's filler. It's facials. It's, f- it's cool sculpting. It's all the things. And so like I just am challenging this notion of like, is it taboo for men to have like beauty routines? And if you're telling me that they do, but I don't know. Everyone has their routine, and I guess that's what we were talking about earlier. We were like, I mean, I don't think of it. I don't. Okay, this is the thing. Men do not think of it as a beauty routine. Well, agreed. We I'm just, think, I'm just. We using just that think cause... of it as uh, the routine, right? So, like, like me personally, I get up, I do the thing, I go to the bathroom, I look like I can't grow a beard to save my life, which is very annoying because <laughs> my dad Fred can grow the. Fullest Greatest beard. beard. It's awesome. It really annoys me. Right. But I can't grow it to nothing. So I just get these little pity pity shit. <laughs> right? So I have to shave the little like crap off, right? Okay. And I'm just the baby face assassin. I'm Steph Curry. Fine. No but problem. But I'm not Steph Curry. Yeah, I know, right? But um I have the thing where I'll wake up, I'll do the thing, I'll da da da. Take that shit off, put the lotion, do the thing, bye bye bye, can my ears. Yeah, some eh. some guys like, seriously every, don't we, even we got- be using mo- lotion though. And that's the that's what I'm saying. It's one thing to be like everybody has a routine. I think you're right, but I'm saying there are some people out here that their routines are unacceptable. They need to level up the routine. It's not so enough. what but but what is wrong with their routine? Like if you are not moisturizing your face, your routine is insufficient. You need to buy a facial moisturizer. Do I prefer I prefer some hair 
But that's again to Lumi's point about like preference. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah, I like a man, man. But yeah. but that goes into like the ver- I think there can be plenty of variation, but there are some where the routine is just simply not sufficient. That's fair. <laughs> but you're talking about things. dirty ass, and I feel like I brought this up the other day, but um. This is these are the ghosts of Dicky Town past talking to you, girl. Like, real men don't do this shit no more. Like, this okay, is, good. I, that's part of what I'm saying. This is the ghost. That's of, part of what I'm asking. It's like men have this, outgrown this, right? Of like thinking that they don't need to moisturize what's, and that they don't that need place to that like you hate so much. What what place? What's that? That, that dorm place. Wilkins. This <laughs> is the ghost of Wilkins talking to you, girl. Like, you just are. Ne- you can't let it go <laughs> because it haunts you. <laughs> and I understand a haunting place. I, I mean, agree. Now, I, I'm the first person to understand a haunting place. But it's not like that no more. Okay, that's good. I'm, gl- I'm glad. You I'm Gucci here to Louis inquire. You Prada. So here's the other thing, though. This is the last thing I'll say is that right. I was also going to like conclude that idea with, with the point back to the positive narcissism of like, if you are trying to level up men, w- women, or otherwise, you need to evaluate what the people at what you perceive to be the next level are doing and start doing those things. And it, and it does sort of get to a point of, like, it eventually it becomes a money thing. And so I think it's a balancing act between, like, trying to feel and look your best but also recognizing that, like, my L.A. fucking mantra was, like, or running joke more like was, like, you're not ugly, you're just broke. And to not, like, get too wrapped up in it. And that's where it comes full circle to your point about, like, yes, of course, there is a thing as too much narcissism. If you start to, like, feel bad about yourself, that's the exact opposite of the point here. And so, like, there's definitely a balancing act to be had. On the other hand, if you're trying to level up, look at what the people that you perceive level that up. level, level up, to level be up, doing. Level up. And that's where I think the balance really is. But I think I just wanted to bring this topic to the quarantines because particularly for women, but for men as well, like we have this trendy thing in our society called self-care. And I just think it's not really talked about in like real terms in the best light it's yeah. kind of ignored it's kind of pushed to the side a little bit and i won't even disagree with you on that like it is right. pushed to the side in a way where it's like it, it like everybody knows what the name of the topic is right. they just don't really go into what it actually and entails it's, and it's been like taken over by the materialistic nature of capitalism and just turned into like a money thing and it doesn't have to be a money thing and that's why i brought the whole masturbation thing into it because i think that's so important it's so important. Oh, my God. You heard what she said. Especially for the women. You saw that thing I posted on Instagram the other day. That was like only 7% of women orgasm the f- orgasm when they hook up with a guy for the first time. That is just... <sighs> hurts my heart. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it hurts a lot of hearts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It hurts a lot and of I'm hearts. Not gonna, I'm not going to say nothing about them hearts. <laughs> I'm just going to say it hurts a lot of hearts. <laughs> So anyway, we need to take care of ourselves and yeah. these people are here are take care of you. Hey, shit. you heard what Ken Chris and Renee <laughs> said. Take care of yourself. Take care of your chickens and your mentals. Yeah, hi kid. Hey, shout out Kenny Main, and we just out here. You got any more uh, self care tips, or do we pretty much cover? I, I think we gonna hit this little drink break, and then we gonna <laughs> do some quick yeah, hits. Yeah, I think I think we got enough because <laughs> I think you took care of literally everything, and I am just still wild. Enjoying out. the ride on this one. All right, let's shout out, shout out, shout out, drink break, shout out, boom. <laughs>